Stroby Studios presents Michael Helgens and Greg Kilberger in The Watson Files. Coming to you from the illustrious Stroby Studios in the heart of America, this is Craig Dolan. And now, let's join the doctor and see what story he has for us today. Come in. Good evening, doctor. Hey, it's good to see you again. Ah, uh, good evening, Craig. How are things? Ah, doing really good. I've been out enjoying nice weather quite a bit. My dog has been excited to get back out in the dog park. I don't believe you ever mentioned that you had a dog. Well, sure. I've had a Maximus since he was a puppy. Well, that's an interesting name. Is there a story behind it? Well, there is, actually. But we're not really here for me to tell tales. Oh, right. That's what I'm here for. So it's been a few weeks. How are things with you? They've been better, actually. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, anything I can do to help? No, I'm afraid not, Craig. I'm going to take a guess and say that you were at a funeral today. Very good, Craig. You've been learning from our stories, haven't you? Well, the black attire combined with your depressed mood, it seemed likely. Yes. And actually, if you don't mind, I'd like to change our plans for the evening. Are you not feeling up to telling a story? No, no, I didn't mean that. But I think perhaps I'll save the investment story for next week or so and tell you about the events of the past few days instead. I take it these events led to today's funeral? Two for two. It all started on Wednesday. I was assisting Holmes with a bit of spring cleaning, and we got the call from Officer Weathers. Hello? Holmes, is Dr. Watson with you? Yes. Put me on speaker. Uh, all right. Watson, can you, uh, make this thing... Um, <sighs> hello, Max. I've got some bad news. What is it? The Red Light Ripper is back. But that's impossible. The Professor was the Ripper, remember? Well, all I know is Samuelson's got a dead prostitute in the morgue, and all the signs point to the Red Light Ripper. So it's a copycat. Well, if it is, then we've got another problem. Some of the details were never released to the public, which means the copycat must have access to police files. So... What are you trying to say, that Marty wasn't the Ripper? I'm simply saying we have another dead prostitute. What that means, I'm not sure yet. But I thought you'd want to know. Yes, thanks for calling, Max. You say the body is with Samuelson? Yes, and I believe he's prepping it for an autopsy. I'm sure he wouldn't mind your company if you'd like to observe. Yes, I think we shall. We'll be over in a few minutes. See you then. Spencer, Jack, glad you could make it. I understand we have a somewhat familiar situation here. Yes, unfortunately. We're just about to open her up, if you'd like to observe. That's why we're here. You don't appear to be properly dressed for autopsy, Gerald. Actually, Dr. Worth will be handling all the cutting today. Afternoon, Spencer. Jack. I will observe from over here. <laughs> Let me guess, your psychic told you you were going to die again? No, no, I'm done with psychics. However, the peanut oil she's covered with does present a problem. Peanut oil? Yes, I noticed the smell when I signed for the body this morning. And he made a poorly thought-out joke about a peanut oil and KY jelly sandwich. And Gerald informed me he was highly allergic to peanuts. So Adam is doing all the cutting, and I'm staying on the other side of the room. I see. And what have you found thus far? So far, all the signs point to the Red Light Ripper. Only Marty was the Red Light Ripper, and he's dead. Are you sure about that? Yes, I wasn't more than 12 paces from him when it happened, and his arm landed on Officer Weathers. Well, then it's either a copycat, or Marty wasn't the Ripper. It was him. He confessed to us. Just before I shot him. I thought he died in an explosion. He did, but I had shot him in the leg trying to escape several months earlier. Ah, I see. I would say the likely culprit is one of Marty's loyal followers who is attempting to keep the departed professor alive. Well, whoever it is, they know details of a crime that were never released. Which is why we need to keep things quiet for now, just in case. 
Max, thanks for joining us. Do you think one of your officers might be involved? I hope not, but I have to consider that possibility. Did you find anything yet? We were just about to open her up. Ah, well, maybe I should come back. What's wrong with us? You're not afraid of a little blood, are you? No, of course not, but that bone saw isn't my favorite sound in the world. The sawing is all done, actually. Oh, well, then what are you waiting for? The peanut gallery to quit the yapping. Peanut gallery? I'm over here to avoid peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> all right, while you guys enjoy happy hour, I'm going to do some actual work over okay, here. Okay, okay. We're ready. Open her up. All right, at first glance, the heart looks normal. The lungs are... What in the world? Everybody out. What? What's wrong? There's a... Uh, Is everybody all right? Uh, not again. I appear to be in one piece. Adam, you okay? Yes, I think so, but I could use a shower. Yes, I think we all could. So much for the autopsy. Yes, it's hard to autopsy a body that's... <coughs> a, a body that's in... Doctor, are you all right? Uh, uh, the peanut oil! Uh, what? Do you keep an EpiPen nearby? Check his desk. What's wrong with him? Uh... He's allergic to peanuts, Weathers. I got it! This shot should help, but it's only temporary. He's going to need some medical attention. I'm on it. How long should the shot take? It should be working already. Something's wrong. Maybe the pen was defective. Are you sure you did it right? Yes, Holmes. I know how to give someone a shot of epinephrine. Then what's the problem? I don't know. He's not breathing. Check his desk for another pen. Shouldn't you be doing CPR? It won't do any good. His windpipe is swollen. He's right. Short of a shot of epinephrine, there's nothing we can do. Uh, are you saying that... Yes, I'm afraid so. He's dead. I don't understand. How did this happen? I don't know. I was moving the lung to the side and then I saw it. And Samuelson? The body was covered in peanut oil, and so some of it must have landed on him in the explosion. But you stabbed them with that thing, whatever you call it. They're not foolproof. I don't know. I just can't believe he's... What's done is done. Let's just focus on finding who's behind it. Of course. Dr. Worth, did you notice anything unusual about the body? You mean besides the bomb inside? Of course. No, not really, but then I didn't really get a chance to look at much. So, where does that leave us? More motivated than ever to find out who's responsible. Dr. Worth, how good of a look did you get at the bomb? Could you tell how it was assembled? Sure, I can tell you it was likely built by someone with a military background. How do you know that? I spent a couple of months assisting a bomb disposal unit in Nam. Oh, you served? A long time ago. Good, that's very helpful. What else do we know about the girl's abduction, Max? Who reported her missing? Nobody. Patrol found the body in a dumpster. But she was a uh, lady of the night, correct? Yeah, we think so. Well, these girls generally watch out for each other, don't they? Maybe someone saw who she went home with. All right, you two go see what you can uncover. I've got to deal with everything here. Give me a call if you find anything. Will do. So, Holmes, where are we really going? What do you mean, Watson? Well, you're not usually one to volunteer for a mundane task like walking the streets questioning people. Yes, I suppose you're right. So, then I assume you have other plans. <sighs> All right, Watson, I suppose I can let you in on my plans just this once. Really? Sure. We're going in this building right here. Wow, that really clears things up. Thanks for filling me in. How can I help you? Is Miss Derrand in today? Yes, I believe so. Do you have an appointment? No, but we're with the police, and it's very important. All right, let me see if she's available. Thank you. Miss Derrand. So, Holmes, do you mind telling me who this woman is? I suspect that she might be able to help us locate our suspect. No, and how can she do that? All right, she said to come on back. Second door on the left. Thank you. Ms. Derrand. 
Yes, how can I help you? My name is Spencer Holmes, and this is my associate, Dr. Jack Watson. Ah, yes, Mr. Holmes. I'm familiar with your work, though I'm not sure we've ever met. No, I don't believe so. I assume you hear about one of my people? Indeed, a Mr. Moran. Oh. <clears throat> As in Corporal Moran? That's the one. So you're his probation officer? I am, actually. Ah, now I see. Glad you were finally able to catch up, Watson. So, what did he do? Well, nothing for certain yet, but he's on an ankle bracelet still, right? Yep, and we haven't had any violations. I assumed as much. Do you think you could tell me where he was last night around midnight? Sure, just let me pull it up here. There you go. This is the log for yesterday. Hmm, looks like he was across town at home. Where he was supposed to be. Yes. Hmm. What's this right here? Oh, that's where we lost contact with the device. Lost contact? So you don't know where he was? Well, technically, yes, but we were only out of contact for about a minute. Is that a common occurrence, losing contact? Yeah, it happens. As long as it doesn't last too long, we don't worry about it much. As you can see, he entered the building, we lost contact for 57 seconds, and then he reappeared in the same building. He was probably in the elevator. Yes. What is it you guys think he did? We've got a dead hooker in the morgue. All over the morgue. What makes you think he put her there? Just a hunch, really. I don't really know the guy too well, but he didn't really strike me as the type. Oh, trust me, he's certainly capable of murder. No, no, I mean, he didn't seem like the type to pay for companionship. Ah. That's not really why he chose this particular girl. Is it possible that he tampered with his device? Anything's possible, but if they were messing with it, it'd notify me. Here, let me show you. Here is one of our bracelets. All right, I've pulled it up. Now watch what happens when I try to take it off. And I'm going to assume Mr. Moran hasn't had any such alerts? Nope, not in the three weeks since he was released. All right, thank you. You've been most helpful. Not a problem. You can stop by any time, Mr. Holmes. Uh, <clears throat> yes, well, thanks again. Ma'am? Well, it looks like you may have been wrong about Moran. Perhaps. I suppose we'll find out, won't we? Yes, I suppose. Wait, what do you mean? Head next door and collect Officer Weathers, then meet me south of town at Veterans Park in an hour. Where are you going? To bait a trap. So, I went back to the station to relay the developments to Weathers. And what was Holmes doing? I'm afraid that we will have to wait until next week, as it seems we're out of time. Well, can you at least tell me if you caught Corporal Moran? Sorry, Craig, but you know how this works. You'll just have to wait until next week. All right. Well, don't be surprised if I arrive early. Okay, sounds good. <clears throat> I'll see you then. Tonight's Watson Files adventure was written by Scott Strosall. Spencer Holmes and Dr. Watson were played by Michael Helgens and Greg Kilberger. Additional voices were provided by Steve Rimpici and Beverly Mead. Until next week, this is Craig Dahn saying good night from Stroby Studios. Put me on speaker. Watson, can you uh, make this thing... Um... Weathers would like to talk out loud from this box. Can you make that happen? Well, all I know is Samuelson's got a dead prostitute in the morgue and all the signs... <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? And all the signs point to the Red Light Ripper. <laughs> Are you sure Samuelson didn't do it? He's going to need some medical attention. I'm on it. Where are you going? I'm a doctor. He did, but I had shot him in the leg trying to escape several months earlier. I almost wanted to say several episodes earlier. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Holmes, I know how to give someone a shot of eff- I can't say it, but I know how to give it. He's not breathing. Check his death for- Check his death for another pen. <clears throat> what is it you guys think he did? We've got a dead hooker in the morgue. <laughs> that was fun to say. <laughs> All over the morgue.
What makes you think he put her there? Sorry, we're, we're laughing in the background. Uh, delightful. Oh, okay. Only you would have us blow up a hooker. <laughs> Watson, how do I turn this thing off now? Just hang it up. But I can't find the button. Give it here. Thank you.